This is a picture of a problem. These are the people who have created that problem. This is that problem's manifestation. Predicting the future of this image is the key to predicting the future of financial assets. What's coming next is the great devaluation. We are now one minute to midnight. A black swan event is imminent. In the last 30 years, the top 1% has gained $21 trillion in wealth. This may sound like a lot until compared to the bottom 50%, who during the same time have lost 900 billion. Then this number becomes obscene. Four decades of central bank monetary manipulation, lower and lower interest rates and free money have all flowed to the very top. According to Forbes magazine, the top 20 people in the world are worth $1.31 trillion. According to the Federal Reserve, the bottom 3.75 billion people are worth $1.3 trillion. Which means that 20 people in the world are worth the bottom half of the world combined. If these numbers don't scare you, they should. They represent an unsustainable math problem. We have seen this movie before. In 1929, easy monetary policies had pushed wealth into the hands of just a few. The wealth gap was the largest in human history. It led to anger, which led to the election of populist leaders. These leaders adopt policies of nationalism and tariffs. That easy money led to massive asset bubbles. The Roaring Twenties saw stocks quadruple. The Warren Buffett Indicator, which measures the market cap to GDP ratio, hit 141% in 1929. The signs today are exactly the same. Today, the Warren Buffett indicator is at 155%. The stock market has increased four times in the last decade. Populism has led to anger, has led to nationalism. Donald Trump has become known as Tariff Man Trump around the world. What's coming next is the great devaluation. We are now one minute to midnight.